Good morning, good morning. This is another fabulous My English School, Maya's webinar, brought to you from the fine folks at Maya's, My English School, for all your language needs. Looking to learn English? My English is the place for you. Yes. So here we are. This is a fantastic webinar. It is a one to three, mine and yours. I am Monique from Los Angeles. And you, who are you? I am Jess from London. Princess Jess from London. Princess Jess, Oh, you have your tiara. Yeah. Fantastic. So Princess Jess and we have a question for you all. Oh, we see Alfredo joining us. Lovely. Alfredo. Lovely. What does Alfredo have to say? Alfredo comes from Marque, a little town. Go the countryside, but now I like in Rome. Okay, be careful, Alfredo. A little town from, from or in the countryside? I would say in the countryside. In the countryside. Yeah. Um, but now I not like Rome, but live, yeah. live with the V in Rome. I like Rome. Do you like Rome, Jess? I do like Rome. Yeah, Rome, Rome is very cool. Beautiful, beautiful city. Welcome, Alfredo. It's nice to have you here. It's nice to see you. So we have a question, a big question. We want to know preferences. Yeah. So. Unicorns or horses, guitar or phone, YouTube or Spotify, Zoom, Skype or Zoom, and then we have Adidas or Nike. Right, and the pronunciation, so Jess is from London, and she says Adidas, right? And I am from Los Angeles, from California, and I say Adidas. Both are correct, but... So Adidas or Nike or Adidas or Nike. And, oh, hello, Ross. Very nice to see you. Good morning, good morning. So tell us, Ross, where are you? What city are you in? And unicorns or horses? Tell us your preferences. We will put on some nice background video image from Bollywood. Jess, tell me, unicorns or horses? So, when I was a very little girl, I was obsessed with horses. And I even, I begged and begged and begged my mom to take me to a horse riding lesson. So I tried, and I actually had a really bad accident. No, that's so sad. <laughs> Ended up in hospital because of my arm. Wow. So, for this reason, I'm going to choose unicorns because yes. they are so magical and I don't think a unicorn would throw me off. I don't think so. You can fly with the unicorn. I yes. fly, exactly. I also prefer unicorns. So yeah. let's say I prefer unicorns. Hey! Alfredo also prefers unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Aha. Uh -huh. First horses. Yeah, interesting. Nice. I'm I'm from because <laughs> <'Cause it's not laughs> thumbs up exactly. So Ross, with the prepositions, only one preposition. Prepositions are little words, right? Like in, at, on, from. So I'm from Cagliari, right? Without in. So I'm from Los Angeles. Jess, where are you from? I'm from London. And where is uh, Alfredo from? Alfredo is from Marque. Yeah, from the Marque. Beautiful region. Yeah, okay, fantastic, because it's magic. Yes, good. So next one, guitar or piano? Jess, do you prefer guitar or piano? I prefer, I'm going to have to say guitar. I prefer guitar. Ooh, interesting. Mm. What about why? you? Oh, why? why do you prefer guitar? Um, because 
I think recent, like in the last year, I've been making music to a guitar. And mm. so now my ear is definitely more tuned to guitars. Mm. Nice. It's a difficult question, guitar or piano. Um, I think, hello, Andrea. Welcome. Nice to see you, Andrea from Modena. So we have Modena, Cagliari, and Marche, who lives in Rome. Cool. Aha. Oh. Um, uh -huh. So Alfredo prefers guitar. I think I prefer guitar as well. I play guitar, right? So I play guitar. I play various instruments, but I play guitar, so I prefer guitar, right? So the mm -hmm. verb to play. Let's see what Ross says. Because I was born. I was born in the country where the horses are very important. Important, I think. Important. Um, May country. The May country is Uruguay. Main. So meaning my country is, I am from. Ah, you're from Uruguay. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. The guitar. Yeah, he prefers guitar. So, so far, everyone prefers guitar. Interesting. Good, Ross. My country. So, Ross, what city are you from? What city in Uruguay are you from? What city in Uruguay are you from? Jess, have you been to Uruguay? I've never been. No, I haven't been. I have been close to Uruguay. Ah. I have been to Brazil and to Argentina. Let's see, Alfredo. Because I think that its sound is melodious, but I... So, I don't play it or I can't play it, but not I don't can't, right? So you can say two different ways. I don't play guitar or modal, I can't play guitar. Yes, can you play guitar? No, I can't play the guitar. A little bit? No. No, okay. <laughs> so, so Alfredo says, I think it's melodious, but I don't play it or I can't play it. Okay. Andrea. I like country music. You like country music, Jess? Yeah, I do actually. Wow, yeah. very cool. And then Ross says, my home city is Montevideo, which is the capital of Uruguay. Very nice, Ross, fantastic. So our next question is, YouTube or Spotify? Monique, which do you prefer, YouTube or Spotify? Good question. I think I prefer... Very difficult question also. I think I prefer Spotify because I love music. And there are... And I pay for Spotify every month. I pay 10 somethings. I don't know, 10 euros or $10. I can't remember. But I listen to Spotify a lot, and I use it to make playlists. Mm -hmm. So probably more Spotify. Yeah. And you, do you prefer YouTube or Spotify? I prefer Spotify in normal, in normal life. Mm. <laughs> However, recently, in the last month, I have been using YouTube more because I've enjoyed watching videos on YouTube Mm. Uh, now that I have time and I have discovered loads of music videos that I didn't really, really? know. Really Can you recommend some anything in particular? It's actually um, an artist that I recently made a video uh, with Lara Marling. She oh, cool. and I've never I've listened to loads of her songs but I've never seen any music videos because I only listen on Lara Marling with a G yeah. Laura, so Laura Marling. Mm. Okay. Is she a singer songwriter? Singer songwriter. Mm -hmm. I think I wrote singer wrong writer, no, singer songwriter. <laughs> Interesting. So we have a recommendation for everyone to listen to the music of Laura Marling. Very cool. So you said you, she doesn't have many videos? Not well, I didn't know because I only listen on Spotify, but then I went to YouTube 
And suddenly it's like, I could see what she was seeing, her right. vision for the song that I hadn't. Does she have nice music videos? Um, a few, not so many, but like. Interesting. I thought. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, so it's free and very popular. Yes, YouTube is free and very popular. However, there are so many ads, mm. right? There's so many ads which are advertisements. And I don't like those. Very annoying. They're a little bit annoying, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. What about Alfredo? I prefer YouTube, but I think that it's similar. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, great. YouTube is more popular, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. It's been around for longer, hasn't it? La Paz is a city in Uruguay. Interesting. So, um, Andrea, are you from La Paz in Uruguay? I'm looking it up. Oh, yes, I see it's very close to Montevideo. That's very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah. Andrea says, I don't know Laura Marling. Okay. And, and it's a, a suggestion from Jess. I don't know Laura Marling either, but I did see a beautiful video of a dancer dancing to Laura Marling. Andrea says, no, he's not from, oh, here Ross is saying, okay. La Paz is one city of Colombia. Yes. And La Paz is the capital of Bolivia. And La Paz, meaning the peace, is probably a city in every country that is a Spanish-speaking country. <laughs> so yes. All righty, good. Ross says, okay, free. All righty, so we have two more questions. Skype or Zoom? So Jess, do you prefer Skype or Zoom? I actually, so I prefer Skype. Hmm. Even though now I'm using Zoom a lot, I still prefer Skype because I love the music when you're calling someone or when yeah. someone's calling you on Skype. It's so jolly. That goes dun, 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 dun. My Skype calls like having a little dance. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking up La Paz, right? Um, Ross, no problem. La Paz is in many different countries. There's La Paz, Uruguay, La Paz, Colombia, La Paz, Bolivia, Chile, La Paz, Costa Rica, La Paz, Panama, La Paz, Honduras, La Paz, Nicaragua, La Paz, Guatemala, La Paz, uh, I don't know, Mexico, right? So it's okay. Alfredo has a question for you, Jess. Who is Marling? She is a British singer. British singer. Let's see. Maybe we can find. Is there a video that you like of hers in particular? Um, I see one called Song for Our Daughter that came out recently. Yeah, this one's very new. Oh, but this is just a trailer. That's cool that people release new things now, huh? Yeah, she's releasing like an album this week. Wow. Very cool. So yeah. she is a British singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. um, Andrea says, I never went to Uruguay, but I have a friend. Very cool. And what about Alfredo? He says, I prefer Skype because I use it. Yeah. yeah. I use Skype and Zoom, but lately more Zoom. Like mm -hmm. for example, for work, for our work meetings, we use Zoom because you can see everyone's faces. Kind of cool, no? Cool, yeah. Yeah. All righty. Our last question of this introduction is Adidas or Nike? So Adidas or Nike? Let's make ourselves large again. Or rather Adidas wow. or Nike? Well, well, Princess Jess from London is definitely an Adidas fan. Yeah. I'm also wearing Adidas trousers, but these ones are bright green. They're very cool. Oh, different ones from yesterday. So very we cool. can say Jess loves Adidas, or in, in the United States, we pronounce it Adidas. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have an exciting story about Adidas. So really? I performed at Primavera Sound, which is a music festival in Barcelona in Spain. 
-hmm. and we played, it's a, it's a very large festival, right? And Adidas was one of the sponsors. Cool. And about an hour before going on stage, they brought us into a room that was the Adidas room and said, you can choose anything you like and have it if you wear it on stage. Very cool. So we were a trio, so three people in the band and went, what? <laughs> so we got on stage with like layers <laughs> of clothes. It was really funny. I got a really cool, um, I got cool pink shorts, hot pink shorts. Uh, I got this really cool, similar to what the, the like jump suit, the jumper you're wearing now, but it was bright green. Cool. So cool. Yeah, that was really um, exciting. It's like a thing because um, being a contemporary dancer, it's like just like the rule of a contemporary dancer is to own Adidas. Oh, so really? Years, I just have so much Adidas now and it's not ridiculous. Now I'm not dancing. I don't really know what to do with all of my Adidas. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd love some if you have extra that you want to share. You still wear it though, no? Yeah, around. Um, I mean, I almost feel like there's no comparison. <laughs> In fact, Ross prefers Adidas too, or Adidas. Uh -huh. Andrea yeah. says, my favorite, so plural. My favorite are YouTube and Nike. Nike. Yes. So since it's plural, Andrea, my favorites, right? My favorites are YouTube and Nike. Interesting. Okay, so we have someone who prefers Nike. That's cool. That's cool. Andrea, Andrea says he likes the guitar in the shower. <laughs> Interesting. So Andrea, do you play guitar? Did we well, ask in the shower before if he plays guitar? Andrea, does he play guitar? Do you remember? Andrea. Andrea, does he play guitar? Do you play guitar, Andrea? I can't remember. He says he likes country music. But that's interesting to play guitar in the shower. Cool. I play guitar and I take showers, but I don't think I would play guitar in the shower because... My the guitar is made of wood and is very sensitive to humidity and water. Mm. But that's cool. I'm I'm all for I like exploring and experimenting. That's that's really interesting. Very cool. Maybe it's an electric. No, it's still wood. Electric guitar is also wood, so that's very brave. Um, what about Alfredo? I prefer Mizzen for running shoes. What is Mizzen? Do you know Mizzen? I don't. Mizzen. Don't brand. What running shoes do you prefer? I actually have um, Nike running shoes. Ooh, is that okay? <laughs> I love New Balance. Ah. Uh, New Balance. I've and I was wearing... What? I've always wanted a pair. Yeah, I recommend them. They're very comfortable. And my, I wear my New Balance so often that I have a hole on my left shoe. I'm so, it's sad because I love them. I still wear them, but one of my goals this year, aside from learning how to do push-ups, or at least one push-up, is to buy a new pair of New Balance. I bought my last pair five years ago in New York. Mm. So, kind of time, but. So Andrea says, okay, sotto la doccia. Okay, under the shower. So Andrea, you physically take your guitar and go into the shower and play guitar in the shower with the water? Or do you just listen? Interesting, yeah. Okay, lovely. And let's see, do we have, that's all our questions. So thank you, you've been fabulous. Remember, you can always write in with any questions. So why don't we go to our fabulous focus of today and what is the title Jess? The title is Mine and Yours. Mine and Yours. Yours, yours and mine, mine and yours. And Alfredo says Mizuno. So I guess Mizuno is a type of shoe. Very cool. All right. So let's dive in. What are our objectives? 
of this fine focus? In this focus activity, how to show possession, genitive X, asking questions. And I think now we understand Andrea's comment much more. <laughs> I need to sing and not to yeah, sing. I love to sing in the shower. Do you like to sing in the shower? I love to sing in the shower. We can it's sing. Like, do you ever find that like when the moment you're in the shower, it's like suddenly I'm thanking the whole of Glastonbury for joining me. Absolutely. And I maybe recall some com past conversations and I, I reword them so that my point was better. <laughs> Absolutely. Everything happens in the shower. Everything happens in the shower. Yeah. So Andrea, Jess and Monique love to sing in the shower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful place. The hot water. I took a shower this morning. It's so satisfying. Mm. Just beautiful. I try to live in the moment when I take a shower. It's a moment to be in the present and to be full of joy and love, to have the hot water. We're so lucky, no? Yeah. Ah, okay. So, alrighty. <laughs> Ross also likes singing in the shower. And Alfredo sings in the shower. So, I stand corrected. We all love to sing. Oh, I love to sing in the shower. That's fantastic. Okay. I also love to sing in the car. Oh, that's interesting. Do you have a car? No. No, I don't have. I, I, I don't. I can't even drive. Oh, interesting. But when my friends are driving, I will always sing. Oh, that's nice. I usually sleep in the car if I'm not driving. Huh. If I'm driving, I sing or sing i like to sing in the car when i drive yeah good so we all love to sing in the shower fantastic this is a good a very good thing so let's dive right everybody sing la 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 da, 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 da. singing in their showers on this wonderful friday yeah yeah it is it's friday huh just i have something to tell you off topic but da, da. T G I F. Yeah, so just mentioned it was Friday. Any idea what T G I F means? So it's mm, mm, it's Friday. Okay, we have a question. Jess, is it correct to say I like sing or I like singing? Well, we can say I like to sing using the bare infinitive and then we can also say I like singing. Yes, so good question. Very good question, Ross. There are two ways, just like Jess said. I like singing or I like to sing and it's the same meaning. The same. So I like to sing. I like singing. I like to dance. I like dancing. Uh, what do you like to do? I like reading. So I like reading or I like to read. Same. I like, um, I like doing capoeira. Um, I like to do. Capoeira. I like to do capoeira. Thank you. Yeah. I like to eat empanadas. I like eating empanadas. Do you like eating empanadas? Yeah. Wow. So Sorry. good. I wonder if there are good empanadas in Uruguay. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, so everyone, what is TGIF? Any ideas? Oh, good. Alfredo says, I like swimming. And I have my swim cap. Ah. I Do you wear that. swim caps in swimming pools in America? What? Do you have to wear swim caps in swimming Generally. pools in America? And in the UK? Yeah, because in England, no, it's not a thing. Really? We do not wear them. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, here they require it. Here you need to wear yeah. the swim cap. Yeah. I know. Um, I just don't actually know how I can get my hair inside of one. Sure. I mean, they're quite stretchy, though. They're quite, like, there's quite a lot of space. But, oh, Alfredo, thank you so much. It's beautiful. If you're talking about my swim cap, thank you very much. It's by Navaji. I yeah, I must, I must get a swim cap. 
if I want to go swimming in the swimming pool. Yeah. yeah. Um, we see Ross saying, I like eating empanadas. Fantastic. Yeah. I would say I love eating empanadas. I love eating empanadas. They're so good. Wow. And I like Chilean empanadas because they have olives and raisins in them. Mm, I love raisins. People yeah. don't have raisins in their food. I love raisins. I them. love raisins too. I use off I often use raisins. So what are raisins? Raisins are dried grapes. Mm, very raisins, small. Raisins um, are very uh, but raisins grow in California too. So it's very common to have more common to eat raisins. It's such a good snack. Raisins don't grow, grapes grow. <laughs> grapes grow and then the grapes are dried. Okay, here we are. It's beautiful, as Alfredo says. So, Jess, what does this slide show us? It shows us a beautiful watch. Yes. A very classy pen. Yes. And a, would you say, a stack of books or a pile of books? I would say a stack of books. And yeah. you? I think I would say a pile. Pile is cool. Both work. Oh, yeah. So, Jess, is it yours? Is that watch yours? Is it yours? No, that watch isn't mine. Is it yours? Yes, it's mine. Oh, it's wow. a very beautiful watch. And I bought it in Abu Dhabi. Um, and is the pen yours? That pen is mine. Mm. It isn't mine. I know it's not yours because you yeah. have a very special pen. I do, but it's over on the other side of the room. Is this flower yours? No, that isn't mine. Is it yours? No, it's huh? the mailman's. Wow. <laughs> I don't know whose it is. So, everyone, we're talking about possessions here, right? Possessions. It's mine. It's yours, right? Is this gold phone yours? Yes, it's mine. Really? Oh, no, it's not mine. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Is it Beyonce's? It's Beyonce's. Wow, fantastic. Can you call Beyonce on that phone? I can. Fantastic. This is the Beyonce phone. It's a beautiful phone. Beautiful phone. Good. So let's see some examples. So. Remember that pronouns substitute nouns. Pronouns substitute nouns. So nouns are objects, anything. For example, let's show nouns. Tarot cards, a crown. Um, oh, these are my oven gloves. Oh, very nice. They're beautiful. Oven, I love them. A glass of water. These are all nouns, right? Nouns are people, places, or things. Carrots, yeah. that I love very much, ginger. These are all nouns, right? Things. When we use pronouns, they substitute them. So um, this is a carrot. It is a carrot, right? Or let's see. Um, let's see. Jess is happy. She is happy, right? Okay, so Jess is happy. We substitute Jess with the pronoun, she is happy, okay? So that's the pronoun, right? Now we see possessive pronouns. So these are showing whose possession, whose property it is, right? So let's see here, for example, this harmonica is mine. Money. Yeah, this harmonica is mine. Can you show something that's yours? It is hers. Um, what about the tiara on your head? This tiara. It's mine. Yes, tiara. Cool. So we see some examples. Jess, can you read the examples? That dog is not my dog. That dog is not mine. This notebook is my notebook. Fantastic. So this notebook is what? So tell us what goes in there. Yeah, very nice. That harmonica is yours. Awesome. Right. 
So harmonica with an, with an H. That harmonica is yours. Good. So tell us, so that dog, that dog is not my dog. Whose dog is it? Where did that dog come from? I've never seen that dog. <laughs> okay. I know this dog. Ross is suggesting yours. So this note, oh, yours. Okay, good. Yeah, so it's Y-O-U-R-S, Ross, yours. That harmonica is yours. Yes, this harmonica is mine. But I cannot play it. <laughs> I can't play harmonica. I can try to play harmonica. That's what I learned. All right, Andrea, you like playing the harmonica. Yes, I like playing the harmonica, but I can't play the harmonica. <laughs> I don't know how to play. You are learning. Yes, I'm learning, exactly. I am learning. So tell us, everyone, what goes here, right? That dog is not my dog. That dog is not mine. This notebook, do I have a notebook? I don't. You have a notebook though. Um, this notebook is my notebook. This notebook is. Mm. Actually, maybe I'm confusing them with it being mine. Oh yeah. Mm. Never so mind. Think about substituting my notebook. So for, okay. As in. Alfredo has something to share. I don't have a dog, but I have a cat called Bella. Bella is my cat. Love. So wonderful. I want a cat. <laughs> I wish I had one right now. I love cats. Alfredo, you are so lucky. Wonderful. Say hello to Bella from both Jess and myself. So let's reveal it because you're right. Maybe it's not so clear. So that notebook, this notebook is mine, right? This harmonica is my harmonica. This harmonica is mine, right? Okay, I think there's one more example here. So these flowers are not, hmm, what would go in there? These flowers, one flower, many flowers. So this flower, singular, these flowers, plural, but I don't have other flowers. These flowers. So what would you say? These flowers are not, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Maybe. these flowers are not. So cool, the harmonica, because you breathe out and in and it changes the note. Without moving, right? Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my, oh, my, no my laptop. Yeah. There we go. Excellent, Alfredo. Yes. Good, Good. job. So, Exactly. So it stays the same whether it's singular or plural. This notebook is mine. These flowers are mine. Fantastic. Let's move on to yours now. So Jess, can you read the examples? This is not your sister's coat. It is your coat. This is not your sister's coat. It's yours. Are these children your children? Ta-da. These? Are these children? Mm. So Andrea says, this smartphone is my smartphone. Exactly. So you would say, this smartphone, it's mine. Yeah. Very good. Fantastic. And Ross says, this flower and this harmonica are yours. Good. Watch the spelling of yours, Ross. Y-O-U-R-S. Exactly. So not yours, but yours. Y-O-U-R-S. But yeah, this fl flower and this harmonica are yours. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So here we see, are these children, right? Are these children your children? Jess, are these children your children? These children. Do you have children? I don't have children. These are my children. Okay. Oh, very nice. And my children are, these are my beautiful children. Vegetables, ginger, carrots. These are my children. I really Ooh, want that nice ginger and carrot juice. That would be so oh, good. Oh, that sounds so good. Wow. What, um, 
what animal is that? Your oven gloves, what animal are they? I think it's like a, I don't know, a, a crocodile maybe? Okay. What do you think? I think so too, crocodile, yeah. Cool, they're very nice. Are those oven gloves mine? No, they are mine. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Very I don't have a child, right? So singular child, plural children. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, wow, look. Yeah, I guess I have three children. Congratulations. That's great. Jess, shall we take a look at some other questions with do you have? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay, fabulous. So let's go over here and check it out. So verb to have. So we want to review with you. Can you read through the conjugation of the verb to have? Have. So verb to have. I have. I don't have. Do I have? Yeah, I'll read the second. You have, you don't have, negative. Do you have? She, he, has. She, he, doesn't have. Does she, he, have? We have, we don't have. Do we have? They have, they don't have. Do they have? Yes, so we have seven questions for you. And we'll start with the first. Jess, do you have a bicycle? I do have a bicycle. Hmm. Do you have bicycle a bicycle? Is it? Is it yours? It's mine. It's mine. Good. I also have a bicycle. My bicycle's name is Celeste. I love my bicycle. So tell us, do you have a bicycle out there? Do you have? So remember, positive, I have. Negative, I don't have. Right. What about flowers? Do you have flowers, Jess? I don't have flowers, but later today I will. Wow. I'm going to buy I, I don't have flowers, plural, but I have one flower. This is the flower that they um, that Laura gave us in Palermo as a oh. present. Remember? Yeah, I don't know where mine is. Yeah. Uh, Alfredo says, yes, I have an old bicycle. Excellent usage of the A-N. Very good, yeah. Good what about Andrea? I have carrots, but I don't have tomatoes. Fantastic, yeah. And let's see, do you have fresh rosemary? So okay. fresh means not old, but new. Fresh. New. Right. Still smell, when it still smells lovely. So do you have fresh Rosemary. I don't have fresh rosemary. Do you have fresh rosemary? I have, yes, I have fresh rosemary. I love rosemary. I love to cook potatoes with rosemary. So fresh means not old, direct from nature. So you can have fresh fish, fresh mm -hmm. parsley, fresh basil, right? Fresh. Um, Ross says, yes, I have a bicycle. My bicycle is white, so when it's with the noun, it's my bicycle, right? My bicycle is white, so be careful. My bicycle is white. Um, how would you say it? Mine is white. Mine is white. So check this out, Ross. Um, my bicycle is white. Mine is white. Because we're replacing the noun. I get my rosemary. I have it. Monique is getting her fresh. Oh no, her rosemary isn't fresh. No, it's dried. It was fresh. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. This is rosemary. Very nice with potatoes. Very nice with fish. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so he has third person. You see what I'm using there? Third person. He has a black bicycle. Yeah, cool. His Very bicycle nice. is black. Yeah, great. My bicycle is black, and my bicycle is blue. Cool. So, uh, do you have a lighter, Jess? 
I do, but not here. Me too. I have a lighter right here. Da -da. Amazing invention by society, right? By amazing invention changed changed the face of humanity. I <laughs> fire. I love fire. Do you like fire? Do you know what we call them in England? What? You're going to love this. A pocket dragon. No way. I got to write that in the notes. A pocket dragon. Because it's a little dragon inside your pocket. Because it breathes fire. That is so cool. Is it common to say that? No, but if you said it to someone, they'd understand. I love that. That is just delightful. So I love it shows like to go, woo. Da, 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 da. Okay. So Alfredo asks a wonderful question, and I have the answer right here. Da da! This is a unicorn pen, and I use it to teach at my English school. I love this unicorn pen. And just you sometimes use my unicorn pen, right? Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is my unicorn pen, it is mine. However, I sometimes share my unicorn pen. Andrea says, I have a bicycle, but I don't have flowers. Excellent, yeah. And Ross says, I like the, the lighter in the rock concert. Yes, me too. Good, okay. Hooray, Alfredo likes the unicorn pen, good. So let's see here. Jess, do you have oven gloves? I have oven gloves. Fantastic. They are beautiful. I like your oven gloves. And I don't have oven gloves. Ah. Yeah. Well, I do have oven gloves in the kitchen, but I don't have oven gloves right now. And the last question, do you have a gold phone by chance? Do you have I'm sorry, but do I have a gold phone? <laughs> I do have a gold phone. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't have a gold phone. I have, I actually, I have this phone with an otter case, which is nice. It's a very sturdy case because my phone drops every time. Yeah. <laughs> so it protects my phone. But unfortunately, I don't have a gold phone, but fabulous. So let's dive back into our focus. Well done, everyone. Really, really nice. Let's see here, moving forward. So we see, are these children yours? Now can we answer coffees? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're called oven gloves. Or mittens, right? Mittens. Do you say oven mittens? Oven mittens. Yeah, so there's two ways of saying them. Oven gloves or oven mittens. So not mopines, no. Okay, Alfredo, I don't have an oven glove. And what about Alfredo's other comment? I rarely cook. Very good. Great usage of the adverb of frequency. And I always cook. I always cook. I made breakfast this morning. I made scrambled eggs. So wow. nice. I love scrambled eggs. Yeah. When I wake up early and have like a full day, ahead of me. I really love having scrambled eggs. Otherwise, I like fresh fruit in the morning. Mm. And if I have a long day, like today is a very long day, then I like having my like, scrambled eggs. Um, so tell us, this last one here says, this book is not, mm, it's, mm. this book is not, it's, this book is not, mm, it's, mm. This book is not. Mm. For example, this egg is mine. This egg is not yours. This is a very interesting deck. It's it's like <coughs> oracle cards. Uh huh. Um, by this Israeli um, artist. So Alfredo asks, "What food? So what food do you cook? What?" Mm. Good question. Jess, what food do you cook? I cook, I cook lots of, um, what food do I cook? I like to cook like, um, 
like loads of different uh, rice dishes, dishes like yeah. salad rice things and pasta dishes. And uh, I used to make a lot of soups, but I haven't recently. Very nice. And I'm writing what I like to cook too. What do you like to cook? Uh, what food do you cook, Alfredo? Mary. So I put she, pronoun, she likes to cook rice dishes. And me, I like to cook potatoes with garlic, oops, with garlic and rosemary. Yeah. I'm tempted to make that tonight. It's so good. I made last night. Food. Last night, I was very bored. I wasn't even hungry, but I thought, I'm going to make some cookies. Oops, oh, <laughs> and then she dropped them. What's in them? It's literally, I see, like, probably the only thing I learned at um, high school. Um, in food tech, we learned how to make a three ingredient shortbread. So it's literally just butter, sugar, and flour. And they're very wow. easy. That's fabulous. Congratulations. They look beautiful. Yeah. Are they yummy? Yeah, they're very yummy. Oh, fantastic. Very sweet, oh, though. I suggest this book is not mine, it's yours. Let's see. Yeah, awesome. So we don't have much time, but let's see if we can go through the third person, right? So here, third person, right? I am happy, you are happy, and she or he is happy, right? Um, so tell us the third person now. So is this David's phone? Yes, it's, hmm. Is this Jess's diamond? Ooh. Ooh, is this Princess Jess's diamond? Is yes. That the diamond I lost? What? Is that the diamond I lost? It might be. Yeah, look how cool these cards are. They're really beautiful. Can you see the image? Yeah. The tigers. Yeah, they're very psychedelic. Look, there's there's this is not a unicorn, but it's really cool, right? I can oh, I can show you as we're waiting. Oh, oh that's my favorite one. Really? They're just lovely. I don't love all of them, but I do have my favorites. The favorites are on top too. So. That one's cool. Look at this. Isn't that, that beautiful? So tell us everyone, it's, is this David's phone? Yes, it's, ooh, look how nice this one is. Mm. Wow, oh. that's awesome. Very cool. What shows up as beautiful through a screen? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So shall we reveal it? Since we don't have much time, we will reveal it. So Jess, is this David's phone? Yes, it's his. Yes. Are these Sarah's glasses? Yes, they are. <laughs> they are <laughs> her. her. Yeah. Oh, you have glasses just like me. Yes, it's yours. Okay. So we both have glasses, right? So look at when it's plural, it's hers, okay? Um, this coffee is not his, it's hers. And the last example, that isn't Jane's house, it's yeah. hers. Very nice. Andrea asks, you have a collection of stickers. Remember when you ask the question, we say, do you have, we use the auxiliary. Do you have a collection? Good word though, stickers. So no, Andrea, these aren't stickers. These are cards, similar to tarot cards. It's a deck of cards, right? It's a box like this. They're very interesting. Yeah, there's really, really beautiful designs. I got it in Los Angeles at a metaphysical bookshop that I worked at in Venice Beach. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. He says, okay. Good. All right, everyone. So we're we're in our last minute. So if you have any questions, please ask or comments or questions. Remember, you can go to the Mayas S -O -S -S Facebook group to continue 24 hours a day. If you want to keep studying, keep learning, asking questions, talking about your possessions, talking about your cats and your children. <laughs> and your favorite uh, music. Um, remember, Laura Marling is a suggestion by Jess. Yes. What else? Um, remember that this is ginger, and this is rosemary. 
And these are oven gloves. And the last thing, we need to tell them what TGIF is. Jess, can you tell them? Thank God it's Friday. Friday. Yes, so everyone, TGIF, very common in English. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Why? Because tomorrow is Saturday, then Sunday, it's the weekend. So we celebrate, yay, TGIF. So thank you very much. You all are wonderful. You are fantastic. Thank you for participating. Excellent English. And we look forward to seeing you in 10 minutes. There will be another webinar. Thank you, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Jess. Thank Ta -da. you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. No, you are fabulous. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.